Hello guys. So now let's solve these three questions based on loops. Now first question. Well, pretty interesting question solve. Well, not straightforward as it looks. Now i equals to minus 5. Now while minus 5 less than or equal to 5 your condition is true. So when your condition is true you will enter inside this loop right. So minus 5 value of i is minus 5. So minus 5 greater than or equal to 0 your condition is false right. So again you will go to the else part and i plus plus. i plus plus means i plus plus. So it is minus 5 plus plus. Right. So then continue. So what continue does? Continue takes the control back to the loop. Right. So this printer won't get a chance to evaluate as of now. Because Jesse continue I, you again go to the loop. So you have incremented I one time. So when you again come here, because of this I plus plus, this time your I is what? Minus 5. This is minus 5. Now this time again the I is minus 4. So minus 4 less than 5. Less than equal to 5, condition true. You come here minus 4, greater than equal to 0, condition false. Again, you go to the else part. And then this again, i plus plus. So, from minus 4, again, there is an i plus plus. And again, then continue. Okay, this is nothing but minus 4 plus plus, continue. So, again, you go to the loop. Then the value of i is now, because of minus 4 plus plus, now this is minus 3. So, now minus 3 greater than equal to 0, again, the condition false. Again, you go to the else part. Again you do i plus plus, right? Again continue. So this is minus 3 plus plus. Again you go to the continue. Continue again you go to the loop. So now i is your minus 2. Minus 2 less than or equal to 5. Condition to enter into the loop. So minus 2 greater than or equal to 0. This if statement is false. You go to the else part. Again you do i plus plus, right? And then again you continue. Continue will again take the control back to the loop. So this time it is now for minus 1, right? Minus 1 less than or equal to 5, minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. Condition false, go to the else part. Again, you do i plus plus. So it is minus 1 plus plus. Continue, we'll again take the control back to the loop. So again, it is 0 less than or equal to 5, condition true. So 0 greater than or equal to 0, right? So 0 greater than or equal to 0, your condition is true. Break takes the control out of the loop. So, this will never get a chance to evaluate. Because here you continue and you go to the loop. And when this expression is true, you can break it out of the loop. You can never evaluate it. Right guys? So, take a knife. You can never evaluate it. No answer is no output. Right? Good question. Now moving on to the question number 2. Here it is saying i is equal to 3 y i minus minus int i equals to 1000 i minus minus print f i. See guys, this i is local here for this scope and this i is for this scope. Fine. So if I talk about this i, then this i's value is 3. And when I talk about this i, then this value is 3. This is the local. So we give preference to the local variable. So value of i is 1000. So how do we solve it? i minus minus. So i's value is 3. Minus minus. So 3. Condition true is below. Then i's value is 1000. Then i is 1000. Then you decrement i minus minus. You are printing the value of i. What is the print? Because 1000 was. So my print was first 999. Okay. After that, I will loop again. अब यहाँ पे i की वैल्यू 999 होगी है ये वाला 3 होगा डेफिनेटली इस i के लिए वी आर टेकिंग दिस i ना फॉर दिस i दिस इज लोकल एंड दिस इज फॉर दिस i राइट सो i माइनस माइनस था तो अब i की वैल्यू कितनी है 2 तो 2 माइनस माइनस कंडीशन हुई ट्रू मैंने फिर एंटर किया i की वैल्यू फिर क्या हो गई i की वैल्यू फिर से 1000 होगी मैंने दोबारा इनिशियलाइज कर दिया फिर i माइनस माइनस किया फिर से वैल्यू क्या प्रिंट हुई 999 प्रिंट हुई मैं दोबारा लूप में गया 2 minus minus था वहाँ पे value कितनी होगी 1 minus minus condition फिर से true होगी मैंने फिर से enter किया loop के अंदर i की value कितनी है thousand है मैंने फिर i minus minus किया तो क्या print हुआ 999 मैं फिर loop में गया अब यहाँ पे i minus minus था जैसे ही यहाँ पे zero आया zero minus minus अभी यानी zero ही your condition is false and you will come out of the loop so answer is it will print three times 999 999 999 and 999 it will print three times fine 
so there is a like this question is for like local local scope and global scope now moving to the next question based on the same concept here int i for this i you are taking this for this you are taking this print so right this is local a inside this we have declared the i again fine now for i equals to 0 i is equal to 0 0 less than 5 your condition is true you come inside d loop here again you have declared the i this is local to this scope i is equal to 10 so we are printing 10 here right then you are incrementing the i plus plus right so again you run a loop i plus plus now this is this i is this i i is equal to 0 so now i becomes 1 1 less than 5 again you enter the loop again you initialize the value i is equal to 10 again you are printing 10 and then again you are doing i plus plus right see again you are doing i plus plus but you are initializing but jesse will look and then enter the of it so you are initializing the i with 10 so again fill, again same for 2 less than 5 i is equal to 10 10 i plus plus the 3 less than 5 again it will print one more 10 for 4 less than 5 it is printing one more 10 right for 5 less than 5 the condition is false and it will come out of loop so answer is for 0 it is printing one more 10 for 1 it is printing one more 10 for 2 it is printing 10 for 3 it is printing 10 and when 4 less than 5 it is printing 10 so it will print 5 times 10 why not 11, 12, even though we are incrementing the value? Because Jesse my loop can the dubara enter here. Here I am again changing the value of i with 10. So again initializing. This is not the static variable, this is auto variable, right? So it will print 5 times 10. Right? Thank you so much guys. Take care. Bye. If you like it, please do subscribe. Bye.